when it comes to sports, New Orleans is in love. We know this, and we all know the big moments in sports history. Steve Gleason's block punt, the Saints Super Bowl win, LSU championship, and the Dome. Right, but long before that, New Orleans was known for things like out outdoor bare-knuckled boxing matches. Mm. Stories like that are just some of what you'll learn at a new exhibit at the historic New Orleans collection. Denim Monteverdi gives us a peek inside. Football is arguably the king of sports in New Orleans these days, but that wasn't always the case. There were more than 30 rowing clubs established in New Orleans in the decades after the Civil War, and it was arguably the most popular sport in the states at the time. Men from the north and the south engaged in uh, productive activity um, and something other than shooting each other. Who knew? Lessons like those are what you'll learn at the Historic New Orleans Collection's new exhibit, Crescent City Sport, Stories of Courage and Change. Well, we tell 20 stories um, in the exhibit. The stories curator Mark Cave and his staff have put together are fascinating. Boxing? This is a plaster cast of John L. Sullivan's arm. Uh, he trained at the New Orleans Athletic Club to get uh, ready for his fight with Jack Colerain, which lasted 75 rounds, if you can believe it. Football. Tulane can claim the first female cheerleader. Uh, in the wrote, country? In the country. Cycling. They'd have an annual Thanksgiving Day race from the corner of Claiborne and Canal um, out to West End, and they would convert a uh, train into a moving grandstand, which would follow the race out to West End. And the exhibit isn't simply pictures and artifacts. Yeah, we have the original Sugar Bowl trophy on display here, and it's actually an 1825 wine cooler. You can actually take part in that Thanksgiving Day bicycle race. <laughs> you can also hear from people like Dave Dixon, father of the Superdome, or watch news reports about important sports stories from the past. Cave admits sports might not seem like a natural fit for a museum. Normally, things relate to military history, to um, diplomatic history, to politics end up in the archive. But New Orleans isn't like most other cities, and this exhibit reflects that. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Today was opening day for that exhibit, and it runs through March 8th. The address is 520 Royal Street, and best of all, admission is free.